Hello and welcome back to the channel. The Bleep and Booster animation series from the 1960s, shown on Blue Peter, the BBC, uh, wasn't true animation, wasn't traditional animation, let's say. It was animatic animation, which meant that they just panned over the still illustrations to give the impression of movement and zoomed in. There's a couple of camera tricks along the way, but as you can see here, it was a fairly basic process. This wonderful artwork by William Timmin, Tim as he was called, is presumably lost. The episodes were shown once on the BBC and never shown again. So I thought it might be interesting to see if we could recover some of these the panoramas from the footage of the two surviving episodes. There are several obstacles to doing this. The first you can see here. When you start to look closely, you can see the problem. And there it is. That nasty comb effect is due to the interlacing of the original filming, which was done on 405 lines on the UK TV system back in the 60s and 70s and later, I think. I don't really understand interlacing beyond the basic idea that they would show one image which would have lines one, three, five, seven, etc. And then the next image would have the missing lines in between two, four, six, eight. Uh, that was fine when there wasn't much movement going on, but where there was movement between the two frames, you get that nasty effect. It can be tackled in software, but it produces other artifacts. So in the episodes that I've been enhancing and putting up on YouTube, I've just ignored the interlacing and you don't really notice it unless you start to look at the still images like this. Topaz Video Lab can deal with it, as you'll see here. We try not to use this because, as I say, it does introduce other artefacts. But when you're trying to recapture a panorama taken up from a variety of moving stills, so to speak, you have to do that. So there we are. That's what we can do. Take the still image of a panned camera shot, apply the software, and it recovers it quite well. So this is the scene that we're going to recreate. took a shot of each section, put that together in Microsoft Ice stitching software, and it produces this lovely panorama, which we've never had the chance to see before. Zooming in on Bleep and Booster though, on their space scooter, there's a limit to what the software could do. But luckily, there's a shot of them on their space scooter just before they take off. In the previous scene. So I'll cut that one out in GIMP. Added a little bit of blur to match the background. Switched it round. Put it back in the scene. Lovely. That allows us to recreate the panning. But really, we want to do a lot more than that. First thing was to try and colorize it. Put that into Deoldify. And it does quite a nice job on that, considering it's a cartoon. I took the bleep and booster image and did the same thing. And got this. Virtually nothing. Slight coloration around uh, Booster's helmet. But basically... The Oldify AI did not recognise this as characters or a space scooter, not surprisingly. So it was a fail. Here's the fun thing, though. I put it back into the panorama, then put it back into the Oldify. And amazingly, in context, it recognises Bleep and Booster on a space scooter as something it could colourise. It looks rather good, in my opinion. The main motivation for trying this was to create some kind of genuine animation effect. So I tidied up the sky. You can see the original image is a little bit messy in the sky. So I tidied that up as best I could. And now we have Leap and Booster animated. Can we call this animation? 
Well, I spent a day on it, so I'm going to call it animation. does open up a lot of other possibilities for future work on these wonderful classic episodes from the 60s. One other thing it allows us to do, of course, is to move from the 4-3 format of the screen to the 16 by 9 as well, so opening it up into true widescreen as well as HD. So, great, there'll be more experiments like this coming soon, and uh, thank you for watching.